first of all, siguro para sa ating mga bata na nandito, hindi ganun familiar ang binasa nating kwento kasi Old Testament. No? However, it is also very important for us to be familiar with the story of the Old Testament kasi marami sa mga backgrounds ng kwento ni Jesus ay maliliwanagan lang natin with the Old Testament. Like, here, we have mentions of people like Abraham, like uh, Isaac, like Rebecca. Later on, pag pinasa natin ang New Testament, uh, these names will come out. And um, not unless alam natin yung background, then uh, we, would, we would not entirely appreciate the story also of Jesus. Um, let me just uh, uh, trace back a little yung family uh, uh, genealogy, no? yung family tree na binibuild up the ating uh, binasang kwento ng Book of Genesis. So, there are so many people who uh, are mentioned in the first parts of Genesis but the most important and the oldest historical figure na pwede nating bigyan ng date ay si Abraham. Uh, before Abraham, uh, we have people like uh, Josh, uh, like Noah, people like, uh, what do you know? Jared, yes. Uh, people like Shem and Ham and Japheth, no? So, ito yung mga older names sa Bible from Genesis 1 up to Genesis 12. No? But 1 to 12 of Genesis, napakahirap natin bigyan ng talagang historical date. No? Uh, we have not yet, science and archaeology has not yet found a way to date some of these characters. But definitely, Abraham can actually be uh, yung lifetime niya can actually be put into the timeline. No? Uh, the timeline for Abraham is 2,000 years before Christ. No? And uh, the reason why we are able to put the timeline is because Abraham is said to have come from a place called Ur. And Ur is one of the very important archaeological links that we have in a place called Iraq. So in Iraq, you have uh, remnants of the old city of Ur that can be carbon dated to 2,000 years before Christ. So yun ang dahilan bakit si Abraham ang point of reference natin. From Abraham, he will have, of course, so many children. Uh, the song goes, Father Abraham has many children. No? Uh, but we know, of course, of only two very important children of Abraham. The older one is a child by his slave girl, an Egyptian slave girl named Hagar. Uh, ito yung talagang biologically eldest son ni Abraham, a man by the name of Ishmael. Ishmael. Yeah. Pero, sapagkat hindi siya yung anak ni Abraham uh, by his wife Sarah, although he is the oldest, he did not inherit the promise. Yung uh, salin lahi, sabi natin, ano? Uh, the son of Abraham, according to the promise of God, that he will have us an with his wife Sarah, is of God a man by the name of Isaac. So, Isaac. This is an old uh, name. Probably the new form of this name is the Jewish name Isaac. Like Isaac Rabin. Let's say newer version of this old Bible name. So, Isaac. Isa. Meaning, uh, somebody who makes you laugh. Yeah. Oh. Laughter. Yeah. 
and the literal meaning in ng salitang isha. And of course, isha uh, would marry itong kwentong narinig natin, uh, a, a wife who is a relative also of Sarah, the wife of Abraham. So the, the woman would be a, a woman by the name of Rebecca. Okay? We have we have her mentioned in the story. And from this union, there will be a twin that will be born. No? So, dalawa yan. Si Esau, ang pinakapanganay, at yung isa naman ay si Jacob. Yan. Twins sila, twins. Kaya lang, uh, may mga meaning yung mga pangalan nila. Eh, no? Yung Esau, ang ibig sabihin niyan ay somebody who is uh, hairy. Hairy. O palahibo. O alam niyo ba ang ibig sabihin yung mga pangalan niyo? Ano ba mga pangalan niyo? Ang isa yung mga pangalan niyo kung ano sa ano ang ibig sabihin. Eh, no? uh, so, sa Bible, lahat ng pangalan may meaning. So, uh, it projects somehow the character of the Bible personal, personality. No? So, Esau was a hairy guy, so he was called Esau. No? Jacob means somebody who is shrewd. Uh, tuso. Yeah. No? Somebody who who wants always to make one over another. Yeah. Huh? Tuso. May lahing bumbay. Yeah. Mga tuso. No? Shrewd. Yeah. And um, going back to the story of their birth, as we will later see, uh, ito si Jacob was called such because he was supposed to be the youngest. Pero nung lumalabas na itong si Esau, mula sa sinapupunan ng nanay nilang si Rebecca, Jacob pulled Esau back to the womb. And instead of Esau, he comes out first. Ganun siya katuso. Inborn. No? Inborn yung pagiging tuso niya. No? So, yeah, no? So anyway, in this family tree, of course, we are tracing the family tree because from this, from Jacob will come 12 tribes and out of the 12 tribes, one tribe, the tribe of Judah, will become the tribe for Jesus. It will be the tribe where Jesus will be born into. Yan yeah? ang fast track niya. Yan ang fast forward niya. So, yun ang halaga ng Old Testament. Kaya binubuksan natin ang Old Testament. No? Okay, so the uh, story that we have today uh, focuses on Isaac. No? How Isaac becomes a bridge between Abraham, who is the father of many nations, is called the father of many nations because out of Ishmael will come the Arabs. No? The Arabs claim that they come from Ishmael. The Muslims claim that they come from Ishmael. While Christians and uh, Jews would claim that we come from Isaac. So, Abraham is the father of many nations, but it would be Jacob who would be the father to Israel, the chosen people. So, in between, you have that very important character of Isaac as a bridge. Sa kwentong binasa po natin sa 26 of Genesis, we take note that there are actually uh, three important little stories that we have in Genesis 25, 26. No? Three little stories uh, make up the chapter. Yeah. Para maintindihan natin yung binasa natin, we have to be able to group the stories together. No? So what are these three stories that are found, found in Genesis 26? Uh, the first story covers verses 1 to 11. Yun yung unang kwento. 
no? And it tells us the story of Isaac living in a place called Gerar. No? Gerar is uh, located uh, south of Israel or south of Jerusalem. So it's close to the Sinai border, no? near the sea. Ano nyo, pag uh, tinignan nyo yung mapa ng Israel, ganyan yan eh, no? Mas madaling i-drawing yung mapa ng Israel kasi yung mapa ng Pilipinas. Kasi Pilipinas, 7,100 islands, no? O, yung iba ay kinakamkam na ng mga chick, no? O, so anyway, uh, when you look into the maps, usually at the end of the Bible, you have maps, no? You have to look at the maps. Uh, the area of Israel um, is actually something like this, no? So, you have the Mediterranean Sea, you have the land of Israel itself, you have the Sea of Galilee to the north, and flowing out of the Sea of Galilee is the Jordan River, Ha? Ito ang upstream. So, pagbabayan ng tubig, the direction of the water is that way. This is the Jordan River. And all this water goes to the lowest portion of the world. The Dead Sea. How low? You can actually slice Mount Everest, put it into the sea, and you are not yet on level zero of ground. That's how deep it is. No? You can stay there under the sun for a whole day and you never get sunburned. The Dead Sea, which is around, uh, what? Uh, it's, it's, it's mostly a salt water area. Kaya it's also a place where you, can, you cannot drown. It's a good place for non-swimmers. You can sit on the water and read the newspaper you know, the whole day. Uh, just make sure that you don't rub your eyes with your fingers. It has been dipped into the water. It's so bright that you can ka. No, But that's how the Dead Sea is. No? So, lahat ng latak, lahat ng latak ng Galilee, lahat ng latak ng Jordan, lahat ng binaptize ni John the Baptist, ang libag ni Lana, punta lahat sa Dead Sea, sa Dead Sea lahat na ang latak. No? No? Ha? Ha? At yun naman, ang gustong gusto ng mga mothers, yung uh, yung uh, black sand sa ilalim ng Dead Sea, yun ang pinapahit nila sa amin ng mga ay mga mud pack. So, yung ahaba, yan, most of them are coming from the bottom of this Dead Sea. Okay, so, Abraham, uh, Isaac stayed to the south. So, Gerar is somewhere here. This area. The area that is now occupied by the Palestinians. Okay? The Philistines, by the way, are said to be the ancestors of the Palestinians. And they are called Philistines because they are migrants. They are not from this place. They come from Greece on this side. If you look at the island, uh, look at the, the map of Greece, the northern part of Greece is a city called Philippi. And that's where the Philistines came from. From Philippi, they migrated by way of the waters of the Mediterranean to this part of the Middle East. So they're called Philistines. So that's where uh, Isaac put up his little tent and his little farm. And the people here are ruled by a little king, a petty king. The name is Abimelech. Ayan. What is the meaning of Abimelech? Iba lang ng pangalan ay ibig sabihin. Abi comes from the word Abba. And Melech comes from the word Malak. 
which means king and this means father so the father is king that's the meaning of the word abimelech you know? the father is king so my father is king parang you know? gano so uh, now dito sa genesis 26 1 to 11 the first story that we have in the chapter we hear how a famine has struck the land no? usual during those times kasi this place is really dry no? that place up there is the green area Jesus stayed mostly in Galilee he stayed around the lake that's why he always talk about parable of farmers and fish and bread and harvest that's the northern part no? that is the green part of uh, the land of Israel okay so there was a famine Ngayon, what is very interesting for us to take note dito sa verse 1 to 11 is that something happened when uh, Isaac and Rebecca comes to this place in Gerar trying to uh, trying to escape from the famine um, sabi dito sa kwento um, Isaac feared for his life not because of the famine but because his wife was beautiful and during those times it was usual that if a wife is beautiful and the king wants the wife then the king can plot out uh, killing the husband that actually happens in the Old Testament. Do you know any story? Huh? Yes. David. David fell in love with a married woman named Bathsheba. Oh. And uh, this married woman was uh, the wife of one of the soldiers of King David. So when David knew about it, David sent the soldier to Mindanao. He sent the soldier to battle. And so, of course, when the soldier died, then David was free to marry Bathsheba, who later on becomes mother to King Solomon. So, ganun. Alam niyo, walang binatbat yung mga telenovela sa sa TV mas masalim mo utang Biblia <laughs> kung i-research -re lang natin ang gagawin ng script no? masalim mo at siya so, Abimelech uh, he, since he was a very powerful king in this area he was the king in this territory uh, could have taken uh, Rebecca so sabi ni, sabi ni uh, Isaac kay Rebecca magpanggap tayo Pag tinanong ka kung kaano-ano kita, huwag mong aminin na asawa kita. Sabihin mo ikaw ay aking kapatid. Yan, no? Kapatid kita. Yan. Now, hindi ito original. Ha? Hindi ito original kasi late, uh, earlier, Abraham in Genesis 12, to Genesis 20, Abraham also had that kind of an experience twice. Dalawang beses. Na uh, Abraham called Sarai his sister. Kasi nga, the same story, the same, the same, con the same context, no? Uh, Sarai, although she was old, uh, had a different appeal. No? Uh, the name Sarai, by the way, means princess. Uh, Abram means prince, and Sarai means princess. Uh, uh, so she could have been a beautiful woman. And so Abraham, fearing for his life, also did the same strategy. No? But that was with the king of Egypt. Egypt is down south. South. So, makikita natin, parang 
Sabi nga natin, history repeats itself. Diba? History